Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. This guy is just dead ass staring me in the eye. Like, bitch, what up? I like your Hummer, brother. Bro, if you guys can afford a fucking Hummer, let's be honest, you're rich. Hell no. Nah. I am not doing that like four miles per gallon. Nope, not today. Not in not in my house. Oh my god. Yo, Mr. Wee Wacker Man, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? Alright, whatever. Move the fuck out my way, please. God damn it, Chris. Alright. Oh, it smells like some Chick-fil-A. Mmm, girl! Smells like some chick fella. Some chick motherfucking fella. What the fuck kind of fucking building is this shit? It smells like some chick fella. You know what I feel like I need to be? I need to be Cat Williams. But I feel like if I thrust my head around, people will look at me funny. He'd be like, Cat Williams always be like, Now let me tell you this! Like, he always be like, throwing his head around and shit. Cat Williams is a funny motherfucker. I think he's one of my favorite comedians ever. Anyone ever seen Cat Williams live? The motherfucker shakes his head so much. Like, he was just like, Now let me tell you this! Like, my god. Dude, I could do such a good Cat Williams impersonation. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Mom, I can do it. Okay, enough of that shit. I don't know what the fuck that was. What's up, bitches, people, and everybody else in this world? We're not going straight because they're stopped up there, so we're going to go right. Um, what's going on, guys? So I've done a similar topic to this, like, way back in the day. Way back in the fucking day. But I want to do another topic is because I've gone on, I've gone on this, like, span of watching um, this TV series. Uh, I know you guys have probably heard of the TV series. It's a bi it's like a bunch of lunatics, first of all. So, no offense to the people that actually like are like this, but uh, I I actually really enjoy the TV show. I find it entertaining, not only because some of the things are fucking hilarious, but some of the things are pretty cool to look at. If you guys ever heard of the uh, yeah, can I go this way? Yeah, I think I can. If you guys have ever heard of the uh, TV show Doomsday Preppers. Anyone ever heard of Doomsday Preppers? It's a pretty cool show. I like watching people freak out for no reason. It's pretty funny. Um, but some of the uh, some of the things on there are pretty interesting uh, as far as like just how they're prepping and stuff like that. It's cool to see. Um, and so like it brought me up to do like a topic like if you were in Doomsday, if you were had to prepare for Doomsday, which Doomsday would you prepare for and why? Like which Doomsday would you? 100% prepare for before any others and like why type of thing so and obviously I'm gonna follow my question up with my answer to that vlog um, well I think we were here with Jake a long time ago during the Atlanta meetup I don't remember um, but I wanted to follow it up with uh, a, a basically like a, a you know what I thought and um, you know a lot of those guys in Doomsday Purpose they they save up ammo, they save up uh, fucking food, and some of them go go so far and beyond that they're like, they take planes to scope out areas of where they need to go when shit happens. It's pretty hilarious. Like, some of the people in that, some of the people in that show are fucking, oh my god, some of them are lunatics, dude. Some of them just don't deserve to, like, do any, like, they're crazy. Like, there are some crazy motherfuckers on this show. Please tell me you guys have seen this show. There are some serious, insane people on this show that really... Like, question my, why does this person own a gun type of thing? Because they're insane. They're absolutely fucking insane. Um, but uh, I think if I had to prepare for something for Doomsday, I honestly, as like bad as it sounds, I would prepare for some type of, like, some type of, like, government shutdown type of deal where there's, like, no aid. I think that's what I would, I would prepare for. I'd prepare for something with the government that would cause it to shut down and we would have no police like we would have nothing like i i don't even know what you call that maybe maybe i don't know so much martial law i wouldn't prepare for martial law as much i would just prepare for a complete utter shutdown of the government uh and just like a complete like catastrophe of fucking situations so that's cool parking garage i don't know i think that's i would plan for that before i plan for a fucking zombie apocalypse because Let's be honest, an apocalypse is going to take a little bit to break out. Like, even if, like, someone in Atlanta got it, yeah, it's going to spread quickly, but, you know, it's not going to fucking take over the whole world in 30 seconds, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I feel like the government shut down, uh, although the government shut down wouldn't... God, that sounds so good. I love T's exhaust. Um, although it wouldn't happen immediately either, it still would cause a lot of havoc. So, I think if I had to prep 
One thing I would do is store lots of beans, because beans, like, beans, beans, magic fruit, the more you eat, the more you toot, lol, kappa. Um, so the more, like, uh, the more, like, preservative type thingy or things that don't go bad you store you'll be fine i think i would store a lot of that but honestly if i could only store one thing so if you can only store one thing guys you only had room for one thing right now what would you store in my opinion i would store ammunition i know that sounds kind of like why why would you store ammunition when you could store water or like you know anything like that i feel like you know although water can be hard to come by i honestly feel like water isn't that hard to come by especially living in georgia it bitch rains like every other day if not every day so a rain catcher ain't that fucking hard to make so i don't know i feel like uh water wouldn't be that big of an issue um food could be uh but i mean again this is like only if you had like you had the plan right now i think i would totally do ammunition simply because ammunition and guns simply because like you know if you're rolling deep into like a oh this guy's almost rolled back into me so if, if you're uh if you're in like a city and you're gonna go loot a store because you know it's all broken down and stuff what is gonna look more threatening you and a bunch of friends just walking in there empty-handed grabbing stuff or you and a bunch of friends with tactical shit on with fucking ak-47s and, and pistols strapped on your side walking in all tactically like bitches are gonna move out the way and if you if they have guns and they want you to move out of the way that's when you get in the competition and all that type of fun stuff Fellini's I've heard of Fellini's for I like Fellini's pizza I don't know. I think that's what I would plan for. And I would honestly, like, I'll be dead honest with you guys. If any of this ever happened, I would head for the docks so quick. I would, like, I, I, I'm, I'll tell you guys, I'll be straight scumbag with it. If I ever had to get in a situation where, like, sh shit like this broke out, like, I would dead ass, like, steal someone's boat. Like, I would hold them up and take their boat. Your boat is mine. Like, it would be some Gucci-ass boat, too. Like... You could easily take a boat, go off coast, right? Go far enough off coast, sit off coast, and then have like, I don't know, like a canoe or, or, or what, kayaks inside the, the boat. And then when you needed to go to shore, you just rode the shore and just anchor down, like three anchors so you don't go anywhere. Would that not be amazing? I think that'd be a fucking awesome idea. So you don't have to worry about getting like, you don't have to worry about like sleeping at night. You're on the water. Like, ain't nobody coming out there. And if they do, you're going to see them like a bajillion miles before. And that's when you have cannonballs. And they'll be like, shoot the first cannonball. Boom. Shoot the next cannonball. They see that's what I'm saying. Like, you shoot cannonballs for days. No, that'd be really fucking sketch. You just fucking shoot an AK off the side of the fucking boat. Dude, a cargo ship. Oh, my God. Bro, what if I had a cargo ship? We could have a cargo ship and just anchor the bitch down and fucking live on a cargo ship. And then all of the little fucking cargo things would be people's rooms. Oh my God, mind blown. Mind fucking blown. I don't even know what to say anymore, my mind is so blown. I think I just blew all of your minds because now everyone's gonna steal a cargo ship. I'm totally going to steal a cargo boat if the apocalypse breaks out because I will have like a bajillion rooms for everyone to stay in and we can all be one big happy family. Yes! Winning. That is called winning, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what we do here at Yummy R6. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, what would you guys do in an apocalypse, and what would you prepare for? Oh, God, I'm sorry, T. I started you in such a low gear. Chase, don't kill me. Ow, ow. Uh, and by the way, guys, nothing is wrong with Nessie. Uh, I just was missing kind of the supermoto feel, and Chase said I could take out, uh, could take out T. So, uh, and Chase, is, Chase will probably take out Nessie here soon he i've been telling him he could take her out but he's been so on trying to get a uh, holly fixed or or sold or whatever he's doing that uh that that shit has been going down so i don't know i guess we'll see what happens with uh with all that action and whatnot what the fuck what what the fuck bro what the fuck was that some fucking gucci ass cars fucking girl scout thin mint looking shit all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. That was some Gucci-ass looking cars. More cars. That was that was more. That paint job is probably more expensive than my Corolla, to be honest. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. I'm jumping out this bitch. You guys, I'll see you guys on another one. If you like the videos, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take these guys hit the like button. And peace out. Look forward to reading the comments. Later. Later, nerd. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> I call him a nerd. <laughs> Lol, Kappa.